Hello and welcome to our first episode on uh, Blindfold Podcast. So uh, this is a new uh, series that I'll be starting out on my channel, and um, it will be mainly uh, news and uh, new ideas on uh, Ru and blind. Okay, yeah, uh, blind blind techniques as well as uh, some new Ru techniques. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the last week we'll just um, summarize up uh, what happened in the blindfold community uh, there was a competition uh, in Russia where uh, uh, Roman got a 2 2, two, two 12 uh, single in four blind then um, there was a competition in uh, uh, in uh, Los uh, in um, Los Angeles where we had uh, some record NAR broken by Graham so uh, the the competition was uh, named LA blind cube day and the record was uh, uh, was in uh, multiple blindfolded where he got uh, 42 out of 42 in 54 minutes 52 seconds which is quite insane and also uh, one more notable mention is uh, Max uh, Hillard he nearly uh, would have gotten the uh, three blind mean uh, in the 3 by 3 blindfold final where he got uh, 20.57, 21.3, 19 19.87 so that was quite close uh, giving a mean of uh, 20.58 yeah so that was quite close and uh, other than the blind news uh, in the Roo section we have uh, uh, Yuri who broke the SAR with a 10.69 average in uh, a 100 event uh, which was quite uh, amazing feat uh, he's like about 6th in the world I think I'm not sure and uh, other than that um, uh, there was a UK championship I think so where Alexander Lau participated so yeah that, that's a big thing Alexander Lau participating yeah and um, the next competition that are coming up after um, uh, like in this week is there's one um, big blind uh, event coming up in Romania but there aren't that many big um, participants there but it's good to see that uh, uh, at the end of 2018 there are a lot of a uh, lot of events where there's a lot of uh, blind events uh, blind events included so there's one uh, British blind uh, face-off event coming then there's just specialized blind events and uh, our uh, there's also the usual uh, year-ending FMC Asia FMC America yeah that happened that will be happening uh, so yeah, other than this blind uh, and rune news, let me just go on and uh, discuss some uh, like big uh, ideas that I have about blindfold solving. So uh, we already uh, have well established that we need to wear ear earmuffs while we are trying to uh, concentrate. Uh, like for three blind, like you can watch TV and do three blind if you are really comfortable with that. Uh, like if you are about suppose uh, sub uh, sub one minute, then it is quite easy to uh, watch uh, to watch podcast or to watch uh, videos and do three blind at the same time. But there are also very uh, uh, serious uh, events where you need to give your full focus, and that's where you need to uh, have ear uh, earmuffs uh, or ear earplugs. And the idea that I uh, wish uh, to implement myself is to have some kind of a um, some kind of a recording studio kind of a uh, practicing place. So we already uh, try and do comp simulation uh, in uh, like uh, suppose uh, in big blind if someone is sub 10 that they can stack match their big blind solves. Uh, in MBLD people try to um, uh, do their attempts in exactly one hour because that's the official time given and um, other than that we are not doing that much to simulate the competition for blind events like for three blind we can always try and visualize uh, uh, mean of three mean of three mean of three mean of three but then that's just uh, basic level comp simulation what I plan to do is uh, to have a lot of practice of blind we can try and make some kind of uh, 
I I like recently uh, heard about this is an an echoic um, an an echoic room. So um, like that the room uh, I'll just have the picture right in front. It looks uh, quite scary, but this room it it cancels out all the echo. So uh, one of the issue that I have being um, situated in the uh, like a um, nearby uh, equator kind of country is there's a lot of uh, sweating that goes on wh- when I do a uh, blind for a time and I find uh, earmuffs quite uh, uncomfortable. So um, the other option uh, like the more comfortable option of practicing is having some kind of uh, acoustic foam um, set up in the in our house or in our uh, like uh, room that can help uh, cancel out noise so we don't need to use earmuffs and um, we can uh, get some de- uh, like uh, good practice done uh, a counter argument to that is like if you try and practice near midnight time uh, there is always l- less activity after 12 o'clock in any country anywhere so uh, that 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 is also like pin drop, uh, you also get pin drop silence then but then um, if you just want to do any or uh, any time serious practice because it has happened with me when uh, i get good times in the uh, morning but i get uh, really terrible times in the evening uh, i get um, pbs at midnight but uh, uh, during afternoon i'm like some noob guy i i, I saw like a noob guy so it, this things kind kind of keep happening and to make uh, our practice uh, somewhat invariant this kind of idea should be implemented so like uh, making a acoustic room is it depends it can be quite cheap if you can do it yourself but uh, if uh, yeah if for the basic purpose of uh, not having earmuffs it is quite uh, cheap you can just buy some foam and uh, do it so I'll be trying it out soon next is uh, for MBLD theory so like in uh, in MBLD theory there is not that much um, that much uh, theory out there like people it's always uh, personal preference that's always there like uh, generally the rule of thumb is if you are like sub one minute solver then uh, you uh, try to do uh, how many about uh, twi- uh, maximum 20 cubes maybe 10 to 20 cubes you try and do that uh, but if you are a sub 30 solver then you try to go for uh, 30 cubes uh, and then if you are a uh, an expert in MBLD then you go for f- oh, 40 cubes so uh, yeah that that's the rule of thumb but then there's no hard and fast rule about how you uh, how much you should uh, review uh, what kind of uh, techniques you should try and adopt for MBLD and um, like uh, how to have the right mindset and psychology while trying to do an MBLD so that that is what is still uh, uh, unclear right now and yeah, I, I want uh, I would like to uh, like discuss it out at length and uh, yeah so, that. so uh, one of the th- uh, techniques that I uh, recently come across which can be used for MBLD is uh, yeah, this is a technique called shadowing uh, so in language learning uh, this technique is used so uh, whenever you, uh, a small kid tries to learn a language uh, and their parents are cont- continuously talking in the foreign language the kid uh, tries to shadow um, the sounds so um, uh, it's not audio memo like it's not like you're trying to do audio memo uh, like Callum but uh, it's shadowing it's um, it's quite a um, um, like unique technique of uh, trying to get a new information in your head so um, in language learning whenever you're trying to get the phonetics you're trying to get the way people try to uh, 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 say things like ni hao uh, wash uh, abhijit uh, ran uh, like you, you can't get that accent uh, of Chinese if you don't uh, if you don't shadow enough if you don't uh, listen to people and talk back at the back of your mind so this is some kind of technique that um, uh, I try to use because I have tried to like speak out loud a uh, memo and try to do blindfold and that is quite ineffective the reason being uh, when you try and uh, speak out loud and uh, do it uh, you uh, your concentration you are not really concentrating and uh, you get really more concentration when you are like mum really you're, you're quiet 
and when you're quiet uh, there is a always a chance of drifting off when uh, like uh, generally when i'm doing uh, uh like a uh, lot of solve and i'm getting tired towards the end i'll just quietly see the cube we do some visual memo but then nothing sticks to my head uh the reason being uh i i'm not paying enough in attention uh, i'm just not in i'm just not taking the information the information uh enough like correctly inside so yeah so that's why uh, i'm thinking of a, a technique of shadowing and thinking of uh, discussing it at uh links with uh, language people and try and see if it can be used in mbld because that that would be a some kind of a solid technique to practice because um for uh, normal s- speed solving there's always some kind of metronome or look ahead tracker last layer uh, last layer uh, spammer spam solver something uh, pll time attacks you can always do something that will uh, consciously improve your skill but for mbld it's always a hit and miss and uh, we really don't know what works what doesn't and uh, it's always good when there are some techniques uh, out there uh, to do it so another uh, technique that i would uh, like to talk about is uh, doing uh, space uh, repetition and reviewing so uh, uh, like let me discuss uh, what happens uh, in the case of multiple blindfold uh if uh, like i was heavily inspired by masco in the year 2013 when he did lot of uh, his home attempts very big cube attempts and um, there he tried to uh, even though you are using a memory palace uh, which is quite a uh, like uh, it's quite a good technique but it's quite hard to get it into your system if you are uh, not understanding it clearly but even though if you are using memory palace if you are not um, dealing with the new information quite well uh, the chances it might not stick well or errors might creep in so it's really uh, important to have um, a very good kind of a spaced repetition uh, thing but uh, for, again i'll come back to language learning because uh, we in language learning there's always a software called anki which tries to do spaced repetition but um, anki is some kind of a like one week schedule if you want to do it properly for one week one month you want to learn something but you are doing space repetition over the course of one hour in an mbld attempt so the space repetition is quite uh, precise and crucial you really need to know what uh, how how you are pacing yourself it's like um, a 5000 meter race if you can uh, if you are into athletics you can relate to that so 5000 race uh, like marathoners they um, some marathoners they are able to run 5000 quite well some people they aren't and um, uh, sprinters they they just can't uh, run 5000 meters that well because they don't know how to pace themselves this 5000 meter is quite a tricky uh, event yeah so coming back to mbld or uh, the number of reviews so um space repetition is good but whenever you are a beginner you just can't properly implement that even if you are you doing less number of cubes let's say two cubes three cubes uh, 10 cubes or some five cubes you really don't know then uh, the technique that i've come up with is called hyper reviewing so um hyper reviewing is when you re- are not relying on space repetition for things to stick and you are just doing um hyper revision Uh, we know when we see the masco uh, uh, videos when he tries to do all the hand movements uh, when he is reviewing for the third time i think so uh, when he is reviewing for the third time so oh uh, yeah he is doing rapid ha- hand movements so that is some kind of a hyper reviewing but that's not what i mean what i mean is uh, you are doing extra two um, reviews after you think you have got everything in so that's like um, it's like a uh it's like uh fencing uh, uh one 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 or uh, two two extra fencing that you are having so um even though you think you you are good to go but uh, you are still uh, adding two more uh you are reinforcing yourself two more times to get uh, get it perfectly in so when when you are not that good in pacing yourself or having space repetition uh the intuition of how to uh, handle so many cues and have the space repetition hyper revision is kind of a solution and it works at any number of cubes 
but yeah you, you should be again alert and it depends on the focus and the energy you're putting out, out while memorizing but hyper revision is one more thing one more way or uh, one more thing that i'm trying to do is uh, uh trying to uh, see uh like mbld event as some kind of a uh like uh, there's a t- uh, there's a thing called auto encoders so auto encoders are something that take a huge set of data and then they reduce it some uh, to uh, different um, the d- different uh, what do you call it uh, they take a huge suppose 10 10 uh, variable data and they reduce it to some three variable data and then they try to reconstruct it uh, so that, that you can look it up it's uh, one kind of a uh, uh, linear algebra uh, computational thing that exists autoencoder and for multiple blindfold I also try and um, see if some kind of that kind of technique w- we can try and use because uh, ultimately uh, if you just see memory sports like there's speed cards uh, there's speed numbers uh, there's speed binary numbers names and faces this all events are little bit easier as compared as compared to blind events because the data that you get uh, like suppose you're getting uh, names and faces is a little bit hard but if you're getting cards and you have already your system in if you're having numbers and you're, you're perfect you're comfortable in Dominic system then it gets quite uh, easy uh, to um, process this information but on a 3x3 when you're doing some uh, MBLD attempt and I'm suppose uh, like doing a lot of floating buffer thing and I just uh, have so much confusion because I, I really don't know what's the best way to solve the cube and I have to memorize it also so that's the additional thing that I have to do so uh, in that case I really think that we should be able to reduce the information to some kind of a um, different level so we already use letter pairs but uh, letter pairs is just some kind of a linear encoding method that uh, we have like uh, we try to memorize the cube by just seeing all the targets seeing if there's parity or not uh, seeing if there's flipped edge uh, twisted corners and just figuring out all the targets uh, but then uh, there is always we always want to reduce the number of information because uh, Ultimately, we, we want to be focused on retrieving it properly. We are not focused on uh, how to store uh, it linearly or something. We just don't want to store everything. We just want to store it just enough so that it gets retrieved properly. So uh, w- what I mean by this is when you're supposed to doing uh, two out of two uh, MBLD, uh, you never put uh, the, the first cube fully into the room. The second cube is always the three BLD cube. The first cube also you never put it fully um, into the room like you're just uh, touching uh, you're just touching upon the points uh, reinforcing a bit and then hoping that you'll be able to retrieve it uh, perfectly uh, so the that, that's what i mean so what we like mem- memory palace is a really good technique but it's only good if the information is like highly processed and whenever you're doing mbld you have to process quite a lot of things uh, you have to see if the cube is like having some weird uh, can you do a cool alt uh, on it or 2e 2e or something on it then you have to see if um, suppose uh, too many flipped edges are there then what do you do so these things are like problem solving things and then you also have to do memorization so th- when you try and do these two things simultaneously uh, it's quite tough and takes a lo- lot of time to be um, like proficient in memory palace while doing this problem solving so that's why it's better to reduce the information so that's one more thing that i would like to uh, like think about and uh, like the final thing is about uh, opening preparation so like uh, in uh, chess uh, the people who play really good chess they uh, do a lot of opening preparation which is nothing but you try and figure out uh, every possible good scenario uh, up to move 10, 15, 20 and then you just have to uh, play accurately for the rest of the game but you have the first few moves figured out so that's a quite a good technique in um, chess that exists 
so uh, unfortunately we don't have anything like that in uh, cube uh, cubing uh, there's x cross but x cross is um, x cross in speed solving but x cross is just um, uh, it's you can call it it's um, it's a block building skill it's not opening pre you can't call it preparation preparation is when you are trying to um, you you are trying to anticipate what uh, what you'll get and uh, you know like uh, in f2l pairs we always try and uh, have the look ahead flow and even we never think that we have anticipated this f2l pair and we we did it it just we we have all these things at at our fingertips or we are, we just have these things we know it and it's in the muscle memory that's why we do it perfectly but when it comes to blind solving um, you can have all the algs drilled and in your muscle memory but when you're trying to uh, something like MBLD, uh, it gets um, you can't rely on muscle memory basically. So like uh, again, I'll take a uh, concept of uh, uh, I'll take the example of uh, Masco doing his 150 cube attempt wh when he um, got most of his DNFs uh, towards the end. So uh, the reason why he got even when I do a um, lot of BLD um, uh, sessions. Uh, towards the end, I always get uh, three edges um, DNFs, uh, three corners DNF, and the reason is just because I have I stop anticipating things, and uh, uh, I I'm so heavily reliant on uh, having everything at the tip of my fingers and uh, like having uh, everything like just uh, I know it, um, but I I, I like. Uh, it's not it's not like I, I have prepared it it's just I have I have it in me the skill I have it in me but I have not prepared it so preparing is different and uh, that's uh, kind of a big thing uh, in MBLD but uh, like I'm not the uh, top MBLD solver but these are the things that I think we, we should be uh, like discussing about so that um, uh, more and more people they they can uh, think uh, uh, multiple blindfolded as uh, objectively uh, because many people uh, at the 10 points or 5 points level they think uh, MBLD as some kind of a do or uh, do or dare or task or something because um, like it's a thing that they have to pull it off but uh, MBLD is not something that you pull off it's a uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a some kind of a long distance running kind of a thing you just have to understand rhythm you have to understand the flow you have to understand many things uh, because many things are acting at the same time and it's not speed cubing because you are not uh, trying to go for uh, speed you're going for accuracy which is a very different thing and a tough thing to aim for I means so uh, you, you can't um, you can't plan yourself according to accuracy accuracy is a thing you, you like there's a whole uh, uh, scientific communities who, who try and just go after accuracy but accuracy thing we, it's like a hard thing it's a hard thing where speed is a easier thing to pursue accuracy is a harder thing so you need to make a lot of uh, lot of things to um, uh, get more conscious and uh, like reduce the accuracy so this is my art uh, like uh, ideas that I have and uh, I hope uh, these ideas are like uh, like uh, trigger you up and uh, we uh, like there's a healthy discussion uh, if you have any um, like questions or uh, I'll be doing a QA and a um, Q &A, uh, Q, uh, Q &A session uh, a Q&A video uh, on my um, channel soon so please uh, do post uh, any questions uh, about Roo or about blind or about me uh in the comment section so i'll make a separate video and answer them all and um, thanks for watching and i hope to continue this uh, podcast uh, later on uh, maybe like uh once a month or something like that okay thank you for listening and bye